with CCN Sunrise. Back with us here at CCN Sunrise because we wanted to hear more about his movie, Words of Art. So how did you decide about this movie, about making it? Ooh, I think it's like a lot of people, especially in this town, you know, I, I tell people, everybody's got a movie in them, oh, everybody's absolutely. got a book in them, you know, but for most people it stays there. And so I'm on the couch, I'm watching this documentary that I was really excited about. I mean, literally, I was frisking the mailman for my Netflix disc, when's it coming? <laughs> and I put it in, I watched it, and I was so disappointed. And at that moment, I was like, okay, surely I could do better than that. We're not calling out that documentary. No, we're not, we're not, we're, we're not putting anybody under <laughs> the bus. But it was, I was like, surely I could do better than that. Well, how long was the idea of festering to do a movie? Wow, I've been making movies as a kid, back with me and my brother. Paul and I were rehashing, for you folks at home, we were rehashing the, the gl glory days of the glory old, days but, of TV. Yes, <laughs> but we had a VHS camera, you know, with the cassette, and me and my brother were, you know, and there were no editing tools back then, so me and my brother would have to shoot in order and no editing and get it right the first time. And so we were always making movies as kids, per se. And I always wanted to make a feature film, but I didn't want to be like everybody else where they sold out their idea, it wasn't what they wanted, and then they were bitter and angry, so I just kind of bided my time. So and once production rolled along, you must have felt like a big kid, right? Well, it was, well, yeah, you feel like a big kid once you get the bills for everything. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, you're back to being, now you're back to being an adult. <laughs> but what is Words of Art all about? I mean, I was looking at the trailer and I kind of see you know, the inspirational message you want to get across. You worked with Joel Olstein, which we'll find out how you connected with him. But what is the movie about? Well, it really just talks about the, the art form and the true power of the spoken word. Because words are destiny makers or they're dream breakers. And it's our choice. And the, the core theme that I found out as we went from person to person to person traveling across the United States for over a year interviewing people is that it seemed that the most powerful words weren't from a Zig Ziglar or this you know, big guy on stage or a president or whatever. It was the most powerful words were spoken from parents. Oh, yes. And those were the words that the kids remember, that they held on to. And so a lot of these big guys, Joel, for example, or Darren Hardy or some of these key guys, it was the words that were spoken from their parents that really propelled them to where they are today. It puts a lot of pressure on parents of like, am I going to give some like, you know, wise statement to them? Everything feels like it should be so profound. But what, um, how did you connect with Joel in the first place? Joel was everyone, that's everyone's favorite question. How do you get Joel? So, you know, yeah, I, just, yeah, the movie. Oh, I just called the church and, hey, this is Joel. Victoria and I can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> very approachable. Yes, it, very, was, it yeah. was a process getting Money through. Money calling. The, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was a very process getting through the gatekeepers and everything else. So, uh, once we finally got through and they understand the message that we were looking for, they were on board and they opened, I mean, it was, they rolled out the red carpet for that's us. Awesome. What has, what did any of your parents, either of your parents say to you that's really stuck with you? Wow, that's a great one. That's a great one. I think a lot of it for me on certain sides was what wasn't said. You know, wow, I wish my parents would have said that. I wish they would have uh -huh. done that. Unfortunately for me, my mom's great words of wisdom and words of art, I didn't recognize until later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as I mature and I get older, I realize, wow, my mom was really smart. And so that's the one, uh, for me, disappointment I have is that my mom is still in heaven, so she didn't, or she's in heaven now, so she didn't get a chance to see, you know, me really understanding all her wise words. Just want to ask you briefly, uh, when you talk about words, and it might get a little deep here, but I mean, it, does it take on an energy of its own words, like on a metaphysical respect, do you feel? Is that, is that kind of where you're coming from with it? Well, words are so powerful. Yeah. I mean, you look at, uh, from a sports side, I've seen a lot of big sports stars talk about how you know, people understand, well, why are they doing these things? And why, why are they acting this way? And I've heard people talk about, well, when you're growing up in the hood and we don't have a lot of money, words are everything because you don't own anything. Right. And all you have is a word. Or you look at a coach, for mm -hmm. example, right? How is it that this team with all these great players can't succeed, but yet a coach comes in and says the right word? And all of a sudden, the, the power it's there. Of energy. Yeah. Well, we're going to feel your power and energy because you are on our advisory board. So uh, we're so thankful for you just providing your words and wisdom uh, to us and that we get to see your movie. So come back mm -hmm. anytime. Yeah. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank uh, you for stopping by. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back with Mary Winters talking to Scott Shaben in Senior Providers Network. They help find the most helpful resources right online next. <laughs>